take two on the first inaugural audio newsletter from Kane and Able Fitness. This is Evan from Kane and Able Fitness wishing you a happy new year and trying out this new format because audio makes way more sense for us as blind people. So I was way too talkative and recorded a whole other uh, audio newsletter before this and it wound up being well over 20 minutes and I was trying to be more concise and make it make more sense for us as blind people. So let's move a little bit quicker this time and hopefully this is a little bit better to listen to instead of me just rambling too much. Okay, so in the news, um, my Instagram personally and for Kane and Abel was hacked, unfortunately. I was in the mindset of being much more gracious whenever anybody asked for anything. And then I had an acquaintance reach out and ask for support and click on a link through my uh, Kane and Abel Instagram and was in a giving mood and a little sick. So my judgment wasn't quite there and got hacked. So if you unfortunately got um, some uh dm about some dumb influencer stuff uh i do apologize for that and much happier news i got engaged so um my girlfriend and i are going to be getting married sometime this next year so along with all the fun can enable things i'm also going to be planning a wedding apparently uh i don't know which is more daunting so um when it comes to can enable things in this next month i'm going to have a couple of different appearances i've got an interview for a three-week program out in june in st louis again uh, for a program i've been a part of as fitness uh for a few years now so that's exciting and then um i'm also going to be presenting uh in between a couple of the uh, the big dogs in the industry for an international orientation mobility symposium, which is super, super exciting. So if you want to be a part of that and be able to sign up and listen to all the wonderful lectures over the, uh, the few days, it's going to be the International Orientation Mobility Online Symposium, or IOMOS, through Allied International. So that's going to be a lot of fun as well, presenting on fitness um, for the blind and visually impaired to an international audience. Again, um, I thought about it, and uh, I guess I've done that a few times, uh, been on an international stage and definitely excited to do it again um, i'm also going to be presenting uh for a um a board of disabled people or as, as part of a board for disabled people uh at talking to um med school students at the university of illinois at peoria medical school so that'll be a really fun time this month as well now because it's New Year's, I want to talk quickly this time about how to think about goals and uh, instead of doing resolutions for this New Year, so you actually accomplish what you want to get done and uh, not just uh, th you know think back on them, what you said you were going to do back in January, and then in December, it turns out you hadn't been able to accomplish it. So first, I want you to think about goals, not resolutions. A resolution is just um, saying that you resolve to do something. A goal is going to be much more uh, tangible and quantitative. Quantitative. And then a quote from one of my favorite strength coaches, if not my favorite, from Louis Simmons is, if you plan to fail, sorry, if you fail the plan, you plan to fail. Apparently, you mix up your words. Uh, the way that I would have my students when I was a professor plan these things out is by doing a SMART goal. So a SMART goal is just an acronym for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, or reasonable, and timely. So you want your goal to be nice and specific. So um, let's think of a weight loss goal. If you want to lose 20 pounds this year, then that's specific because you say 20 pounds. I just, it's not just, oh, I want to lose weight. It's also measurable because we know what a pound is and you're able to get on the scale. Uh, even if you're blind or visually impaired, there are talking scales. They're actually pretty cheap. You can find them on Amazon. I have mine, uh, which I love because then I can know how much I weigh, and it, but it yells it out and I'm used to that. But uh, it's funny because my friends or family who try it don't know that it screams out how much your weight is and they try to like cough and turn on a fan and something in order to cover it up. Um, but you can measure your weight. The A is for attainable, so you want to make sure that that 20 pounds makes sense for you. Um, if you're 120 pounds, I don't want you losing 20 pounds, right? If you are uh, 350 pounds, you'd probably be able to lose, lose more than that 20 pounds. So make sure that it makes sense for you, and uh, it's also attainable within the time domain that you give it. The R being reasonable or relevant. Some people say different things. Just make sure it makes sense for your goal. Basically, um, you want it to be relevant. Like if you're just like, I want to change my body composition, be leaner and stuff, that losing 20 pounds, hopefully of just fat mass is going to be a good idea. And then T, timely, you give yourself to the end of the year or if you want to accomplish that and then move on to something else. If you like taking out bite-sized chunks, like I want to lose five pounds by the end of February, something like that, more power to you. But that's going to be how um, you're best able to set up your goals. In the essence of transparency, I'm going to share some of my goals for the year, and you can see how I'm structuring these things in order to stay excited about them, but also to make sure that they make sense. So my first one is going to be 
I want to read 52 books this year, one for every week. Um, and I did the math. If I just read for half an hour at two times speed, which I already do, that equals an hour a day. So 366 hours because it's a leap year. And then that is actually going to equivalent to a an over uh, seven hour book for each of the 52 weeks. So um, that's that's really exciting. Um, I'm already uh, one book down, uh, just about to finish another one today, actually, because I had a bit of a head start on one, if we're being honest. Um, but reading 52 books is going to just see if I can actually do it. Um, and I also want to see how much I got around that. I read over 30 last year um, without pushing too hard and by um, reading some really, really long books like The Count of Monte Cristo. So um, it's going to be really exciting to see how much I learned this year. And then also if this structure works best for me or if I do like the volume uh, or I want to uh, focus on fewer books and just read them more intensely and go into like further study on them or not. So excited to see how that goes. Another goal is going to be to compete. Um, I was going to be competing hopefully in March and after an online qualifier that I thought was going to be coming up. It hasn't popped up yet. So fingers still crossed. Um, I was kind of picking out my grip strength for this really cool event that could happen in Columbus. Um, if that doesn't happen, I'm just going to be doing a different strongman competition. It looks like so um, competing at some point this year. I'm leaving that vague because, uh, again, I don't know if the thing I've been training for is going to actually come to fruition like it has the last few years or not, um, but I'm ready to roll with the punches and just make sure I'm able to, to push hard for some sort of contest where then everything will be quantitative. I'm told what weights to lift and uh, be able to prepare for that. The last one I'll share is going to be, I want to be 250 pounds with abs still. Um, I currently have six abs and everything, but no ab veins. So, you know, I've definitely been leaner, but I am back to up to about 242 pounds right now. So I um, just really want to thicken up a little bit more. And then when we think about the SMART goal, it is very specific because I want to gain about eight pounds while keeping the same or generally the same amount of leanness. Uh, it's measurable because I can weigh myself and then also make sure that the abs are still there. It's attainable because this goal asks for a little bit more balance. You know, I could eat some really big meals and within a week be 250 pounds and be just gaining a ton of fat and everything. But instead, because it's so spread out, because it's reasonable and relevant to my goals where I want to be leaner and putting on muscle and it's timely because it's so spread out throughout the year that this, I think, is a really fun, smart goal to chase because it asks for that balance. It doesn't just ask you to go really far one direction. Instead, I'm going to have to be able to um, keep myself in check, but slowly chip away throughout the year. All right. So those are my goals. And if you need help thinking about any of your goals or um, crystallizing them into something a little bit more concrete instead of just like, oh, I want to get in better shape or, oh, I want to get uh, like eat healthier or anything like that, um, feel free to email me at canenablefitness at gmail.com. And I am more than happy to talk to you about that. Just go ahead and put uh, goal setting help or something like that as a subject line. And I will know to answer you. And we can definitely talk through all that stuff. And other ways where Canable Fitness can help you this year, um, our free stuff is still going to be our Instagram posts once I get that back, um, as well as all of the different uh, free articles that we have. We have over 50 free articles and more to come on our website. Um, recently published one about double progression, which is a cool way to help you think about how to um, program some exercise for yourself in order to double sure that... or. You know, really double check that you have progression in two different ways. Um, so it's a, it's a cool old school way of doing your progression. And I talk about some of the adaptations you make as a blind person as well. Um, the, uh, the costly ways that we are able to help. Um, again, I don't charge it a, a high premium, even though I have my master's and CSTS and all these different things. But uh, you find that people are going to treasure something a lot more if it's not just necessarily free. So um, I have very affordable, but um, certainly valuable um, programs. The first is going to be a lower arm health program, which is up on Teachable. And uh, you can find that through our Teachable site. Uh, this is going to be a really great program for anyone who uses a white cane because it's going to help the hand, the wrist, and the forearm stay nice and strong to be able to operate with your white cane. If you are a person uh, who just has weak grip strength, forearm strength, uh, wrist issues, anything like that, this is a great program for you. It's three-tiered. You're going to go from basic to intermediate to super, super advanced, actually, with some really fun things that I use to train for um, being at more of an elite level from a grip perspective. Um, so 
within those three different tiers, you're able to teach yourself how to uh, customize the program for your needs. I let you kind of choose your own adventure in some parts. And then there's some parts that uh, you're um, encouraged to try and make sure that you don't have any of these different mobility issues and such. So you're gonna be able to get a lot out of that program and there's a built-in progress as well as you being able to learn what works well for you. So again, that's up on our Teachable site, which is um, <coughs> a really great way uh, to easily access those things. And uh, we made sure to have accessible PDFs, all that fun stuff for you. If you have any questions about that, feel free to email. The next way that I can help is our personal training. I do customize online uh, exercise programming for people. And we've changed it recently to a more weekly basis. So I'm able to keep updated with you more. I used to do like eight week programs for people, but I would notice they would fall off or wouldn't be as consistent or we, um, we just get a lot more success by staying in touch more and being able to adapt things as they go. A couple of uh, really cool cases from this last year. Um, I've had one client who he lost over 80 pounds and gained a ton of strength. Um, he recently deadlifted uh, 500 and then it was going so well that he deadlifted 520 pounds. It's preparing for his first full strongman competition competition, excuse me. Um, and yeah, did that at a, uh, all that strength stuff at a very, uh, much lower body weight than before. Again, losing about 80 pounds and getting way, way, way stronger. Um, I remember his deadlift at 185 pounds a little over a year ago, and it was not nearly as pretty as him deadlifting 500. So, um, he's definitely come a long way, um, and gets to pursue his other fitness goals. Now, um, he had even had like family not recognize him initially. It's very, very cool. Um, I've had another client where she has lost over 20 pounds. Um, and we've, been working really hard on bettering her habits when it comes to eating and then even exercising at all, fitting in home workouts where she can, and then getting in that rhythm, seeing the results, and then being able to branch out to actually she goes to the gym now um, and is in a much better uh, capacity to be able to track her calories, keep her protein higher and everything like that. So um, nutritionally and fitness wise, she's in a really good place. And then this next year, we are working on being able to make sure that she continues on her weight loss journey, as well as get a lot stronger and um, even build her muscles in more aesthetically pleasing ways, um, which she really seems to enjoy. So um, those are some of my cool personal training stories and highlights from this last year. If you want to sign up, that is all available on our website, canablefitness.com. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, next is our seminars. We're doing um, seminars all over the world um, and having organizations bring us in in order to do that. We'll bring me in, I guess. Uh, I always, always say us and we because uh, this is definitely uh, a, a team um, effort, but the seminars are really just me or a translator as well up there. And uh, those are where we're able to instigate a lot of change. I really love being able to do things in person with our blind populations because um, just being able to have a faster back and forth and solve problems quickly within a few minutes with people is very, very rewarding. I remember there was um, a very nice old lady in Columbia when I was down there this summer we were able to fix her squat to where her knees didn't hurt when she was just getting up and out of a chair um, within two, three minutes. And then she was actually so excited that she insisted on coming and talking about her lived experience as well as how we were able to help her so quickly um, and so thoroughly in a short amount of time for a different presentation. She wanted to come and be a part of that as well. So seminars, um, if, you, if you're a part of a blind organization or um, uh, no orientation mobility specialist, anybody who would want to um, consult with us, we're more than happy to do that as well. So that is the end of this audio newsletter. I kept it a lot shorter than the previous one, like I said, that I recorded. Um, please feel free to give me feedback on this style or if you think that just writing it out is better. Um, and I will be able to take that feedback into consideration and better this process and make it more accessible and uh, easier to take in the information that we have for you in the meantime. <coughs> so um, that, that all being said, Again, happy new year. Feel free to reach out um, when it comes to tweaking any of your goals or anything like that. I'm more than happy to help with that. That's just canandablefitness at gmail.com. And it's 